Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new Merida doll released as a part of the Ultimate Princess Celebration Designer Collection. She is number seven in the series and she was released for the month of April, um, April 12th to be exact. Some people were able to get her a few days earlier because she did show up at Disney World. Some of these designer dolls have been showing up a few days earlier at the parks. So if that's an option for you, that's great. If not, They'll always be available at shopdisney.com. So Merida is designed by Wesley Jenkins. I'll go ahead and put a link to his Instagram below. And Disney actually released a d23.com article about the create, creation process. I'll go ahead and put that link below as well. Now, Merida is the one from this collection that I have been the most excited slash nervous about because I was afraid they might make her too princess-like, like put her in a dress or something. And so I was nervous about that, but Wesley here really understands her and just, he pretty much did everything I've ever wanted from a Merida designer doll. Also, this is the first time ever that we get a designer Merida doll and she does not disappoint. She's perfection. I love her so much. We're going to go ahead and take her out of the box, take the outfit off, take a closer look at everything and all that good stuff. So let's get started. <laughs> First up, we have the box and the colors that bring the collection together really is the black and gold that they use in all the boxes. And then you have their specific color that matches the design. In this case, it's blue and it's really, really, really pretty blue. We have a little bubble right there. Her symbol, which is the bear paws. It says Merida limited edition one out of 9,800, which is a pretty good amount. On the back of the box, we have the same bear paw symbol the flower in the background, and we have a picture of Wesley, the designer. I really love this black and white pictures for um, the designers, it's so cute. We have here the Ultimate Princess Celebration logo, and then you can go ahead and pause if you like to read this. It's in different languages. And the retail price is not on the box, but it is $129.99. As always, I like to quickly open the box for you just so you can get an idea of how everything looks. On this side, we have the little card, which we take the plastic off <laughs> behind the scenes. We have a sketch here of Merida, which I absolutely love the style. I'm assuming he sketched it and amazing job. Just so, so pretty. And then on this side, we have the certificate of authenticity. And that's my number right there. The box itself, before you take the plastic, you know, to get rid of the glare, you can see that it's just some gold design there on the clear plastic. And now before I take her out of the box, I always like to give you a quick look at her in it. Um, just because, you know, so you can get an idea of the background and all that stuff. As I've said before, I love the backgrounds used for these dolls and Merida's is no exception. It's beautiful. It's from the movie. Absolutely love it. She looks great in it. Her pose is really nice. You can see pretty much all of the details of the dress. And here you can see what she looks like right out of the box. First thing we're taking a closer look at is her purse, which is made out of plastic with a metallic chain painted gold and rusted looking, which looks really great. I love the little hook here in the front. Again, it's all plastic, you cannot open it or anything. And I honestly don't feel like the purse was needed, but I'm not gonna complain that we got it, right? Cause it's awesome and I'm never gonna complain for getting extra things. But yeah, she looked perfect already. Uh, so this is just really a bonus. I love the design here, which we see in the skirt later. It's a paw with the little bow in it, which is just such a great design. Next up, we're taking a closer look at her beautiful face. And when you compare it to the current classic doll, you can totally tell that, well, you know, the paint job is drastically different. But of course, the face sculpt has finally been changed for Merida. Her, her smile is shaped differently. The eyes are different. And I'm just so happy we got a brand new sculpt for her. I think it was time and she looks great. Uh, some would argue that her makeup is a little bit too much. I don't think so personally. I think this is as glamorous as she should get and no more right i think this is simple there's just a little bit of like a silver eyeshadow her lips are a darker red with some little lines on it the freckles a little bit of blush i don't think it's too girly at all i think it's 
perfect for her is just a little bit. You know, if she had to put on some makeup to go to the Met Gala, <laughs> this is what I would picture her putting, right? Just enough to then take it off and go running or whatever. She has one earring, which I love. I appreciate this so much. It's made out of little chains and it's um, like a rustic gold metal. And on the other side, she doesn't have one. So that's just great. I absolutely love that choice. For her hair, they actually gave her a hairstyle and I'm happy about that. I didn't want her to just have loose hair. I kind of picture something like this because in Scottish culture, there's a lot of braids and I'm happy that they actually included it here. See, she has one braid on this side. It's attached there with a rubber band. And then there's another braid on the other, with, on the other side, which you'll see in a second. I love the little curls in the front falling on her face. And I love this messy curl bun in the top. I just love it. Of course, it has a lot of gel. You could wash it if you wanted to. I might do it. I'm not sure. See, it's two different, um, it's two different like ponytails kind of. There you can see the two braids connected. I feel like it will look 100% better once you wash it because it does have a lot of gel, but part of me doesn't want to do that. Um, I just love it. I think it fits the Scottish culture. It fits the character. It's so punk and fun. Absolutely love um, the choice here for the hair. Amazing. <laughs> and now we're going to take a quick look at her outfit while it's on the doll before we go ahead and remove it. This look is being described as Scottish culture meets punk elements, you know, and I definitely see that. This fabric that they've used for the gown is called tartan. I hope I said that correctly, but it is from Scotland. Very, very Scottish. They use it in the kilts most of the time, and it's just a pattern that is popular over there. So I'm very happy that they represented that in the doll. It just makes sense. It would have been a missed opportunity if they didn't do it, right? We have this little metal chains here, which by the way, they were attached to the outfit and I just removed the little thing that kept them attached. And these were attached back there, so I kind of had to let them loose, right? Here you can see the inside of it is red and it's just such a cool punk rock kind of look. Here you can see the back of the outfit, which is really nice. I love the pattern um, again, and I love that they used it. There you can see that those pieces come off, which we'll do that later. And then on the side of the skirt, we have the amazing design of the paw that we saw on the purse earlier, right? You can see that it's the actual paw with the bow. I just love this. I don't know if you want to call it embroidery or stitching, but whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. <laughs> it is in gold and it's just amazing. She does come with her stand like the other dolls and it's the same stand as all of them. And only difference is of course that it's signed by the designer right on the bottom. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and try to remove as much as we can of the outfit to take a closer look. The first thing will be the plastic um, piece here. Uh, I know some people might want to take it off, so I want to show you what the outfit looks like without it, right? It has a little rubber band that's keeping it in place. So you just kind of had to play with it until the point where you can just take it off by the opening on the plastic itself. It's pretty easy but you have to be careful. <laughs> and there you can see it. it's plastic and it is kind of painted um, to make it look rustic and old, which is really cool. And I am gonna keep the rubber band there because I plan to put it back because I really love it with the piece on. However, as you can see, she looks amazing without it. So if you wanted to take it off, you definitely could. She looks good either way, right? I mean, I think so. <laughs> So I'll put it back on later. We're going to go ahead and try to remove more of the outfit. As you can see, um, well, I don't know if you can tell, but these are two metal pieces and it just kind of slides off. There you can see it. It's metal and it's kind of painted to look old. And then the other piece, the same thing. It just slides right off. This look really cool. I just love the carvings on it and how they stand out with the paint. Awesome job. So for the actual outfit, I'm going to go ahead and finish removing the top part off camera because I realized that I need to get the hands out in order to get the sleeves out properly. So I'll do that off camera. But for now, here you can see her uh, without the top part, which is the skirt and the bodice together. And then we have the pants, which on the website, they call them leggings, but whatever. And then, then we have these really cool boots, 
with fur and I love the claws that they added to the bottom of the boots. That's really cool. They come off really easily. They're painted gold, the little, you know, nails there. The fur is attached with a little clip on there, so I'm not gonna mess with that at all. But absolutely love them. I won't be removing the pants or leggings just because we already know they have the same classic doll bodies. <laughs> so now we have the bodice part that's attached to the overskirt and it's just really nicely made, right? I love this. The actual sleeves are called sheer copper mesh sleeves. They kind of feel a little bit metallic. And then we have this fur on the side. I love the three chains that connect to the belts. It's just so cool. And this piece here in the middle, perfection. I love the little bow. It's made out of metal and it's attached right there. So definitely won't be messing with it. All these little tiers here are attached. And to keep that shape, I won't be removing the little tags because then, you know, what's the point? And here we have the bear claw again. And I really love the fringed hem with the little embroidery work in gold. It's just perfection. All right, everybody. So that is all for today. I'm sure you can tell from my video that I really love this doll. I just have no complaints. It's everything I've ever wanted in a marital doll form. I love the punk elements mixed with the Scottish culture. I just think it fits her persona so spot on. It's just no complaints. <laughs> but let me know what you think in the comments. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will definitely see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.